Can you go over Richter's recording of the revolutionary etude? Is it big hands or just nice movements? After reviewing multiple recordings, here's what I have to say. Despite the fact that Richter apparently could easily reach a 12th, watching him perform this etude, you would never know it. Whenever possible, his hand is in a very closed position and his left arm shifts perfectly up and down the keyboard to make sure that he's aligned behind every single note. In the middle section, you'll notice that he uses a circular motion and he uses rotation extensively. In the right hand, despite the fact that the chords only span an octave, which he can can easily reach without even trying, he still uses a wrist release motion to make sure that everything is relaxed. And in measure 55, where there's a large arpeggiated chord, he doesn't seem to feel the need to make use of his large hand span, but still throws his arm laterally to the side using a large rotational movement, just like every other professional pianist that plays this piece, no matter how big or small their hands are. So in my opinion, this performance is the result of solid technical training and good movements, not large hands.